Welcome to another edition of the SSC TV3 News. We are more than news. We have been televising news, events, and archives that are the lifeblood of the St. John community for more than 40 years. And at the present time, we have 439 subscribers and 976 videos on YouTube. Today is Thursday, December the 10th of 2020. I am David Cutright, along with Austin Kuhn and Anthony Johnson, and we will be bringing you the show today. This is a live view from our studio of the City Park at about 11 a.m. The sky is mostly sunny. Winds are out of the north at 4 miles per hour. The temperature is 46 degrees, and the humidity is 48 percent. And speaking of weather, the other day I was in the right place at the right time. These are the features that will be on our show today. Little Women, Little Audience, and Phantom Fans. We televise this program each Thursday at 11 a.m. and upload it to YouTube right after the show. Occasionally, due to program conflicts, the news will be delayed or rescheduled. If you miss the show, you can still watch it at your convenience at ssctv3.org. Please share our news, features, and programming on your social media. This will help us grow and enable us to serve you better. We also welcome press releases. Just bring them by the studio or send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to be a sponsor of our news or governmental telecast, send your request to ssctv3 at gmail.com and we will set you up. Your advertisement will run on the governmental telecast, the TV3 News, and the TV3 Bulletin Board, which runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Also, the TV3 Bulletin Board is now being updated daily. It has been transitioned from the PowerPoint to our video editor, which gives us much greater flexibility. And at the present time, we are following 25 organizations to keep you informed with the latest happenings in St. John. Here now are some of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate their support of our local news. Since there will be no fans in the stands at the home basketball games, the boosters are creating fatheads to be placed in the stands. 
email a picture to fisherA at usd350.com of a person you would like placed on a head. Make the picture shoulder and above. The cost is $15 per head. Make checks payable to the St. John High School. The high school performance of Little Women is now available to watch online. There is a $10 fee for a 48-hour rental. It will be available until November of 2021. To watch, use the link that is on the screen. That link is also on the school Facebook page. The winter concerts for elementary students scheduled for December the 1st and December the 8th and the winter concerts for junior high and high school students scheduled for December the 17th will not be held in person. Performances will be recorded for families to watch online. More details to come. There will be no fans allowed in attendance at any sports contest throughout the state of Kansas until January to the end of January. St. John Home Games will be live streamed for free on the NFHS network. However, you will need an account with NFHS. Most other schools also have an option for live streaming and the school will publish that information on its Facebook page when it becomes available. The monthly Board of Education meetings will be in the community room of the Ida Long Goodman Memorial Library until further notice. The meetings are open to the public, but masks will be required if social distancing cannot be maintained. These meetings will be telecast live on Cable Channel 3 as well as uploaded to SSCTV3.org. The next meeting will be Monday, December the 14th at 6 p.m. The St. John Hudson Recreation Commission now has equipment to create custom apparel and jerseys. If you need custom apparel for a fundraiser, contact the commission at 620-549-6549 or 620-243-2997 to create that special something to fit your needs. On with the show. Face shields and social distancing notwithstanding. For years, plays, musicals, and concerts have been attended without issue. But this year, due to COVID-19, the audience was limited and spread out. During the 20 minutes before opening curtain, the viewers trickled in and waited quietly. The pre-program buzz was missing, replaced by the sound of almost silence. The audience response and applause, that energy that heightens a performance, had to be imagined as the actors played to a non-present future audience. The night was recorded and placed online courtesy of St. John AV Productions. Viewing information is available on the school Facebook page. And now it is time for some city announcements. Getting rid of broken down appliances can be a challenge and leaving them in your backyard is a very poor option. Here is something better, free broken down appliance pickup. Just call 620-797-8040. After months in the Stafford County Annex, the City Council meetings finally got back into City Hall. But after a couple of meetings, they went back into the Stafford County Annex. The meetings are open to the public, but masks will be required if social distancing cannot be maintained. These meetings will be telecast live on Cable Channel 3 as well as uploaded to sscTV3.org. The meeting days and times will be the same, 7 p.m. on the first and third Tuesday of each month. The city office is now closed and will remain that way until December the 21st. And now for some Around the Square announcements. Christmas Around the Square is coming soon, this Sunday, December the 13th, from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. And something new has been added this year, a lighted parade. Decorate a float, 
a vehicle, a golf cart, or an ATV with lights. There will be a prize for first place. To enter the parade, call Tori Perez at 620-546-3845. The county announcements. The county commissioners are now meeting in the Stafford County Annex. The time is 8.30 a.m. each Wednesday morning, and the place and time will remain the same. The following is a quote from the Stafford County Health Department. Stafford County will be shortening quarantine for people that are contacts of positive cases of COVID-19 to 10 days. You must continue to self-monitor for 14 days, as the incubation period for the virus is 14 days. For non-household contacts, you will quarantine for 10 days. If you have remained symptom-free on the 11th day after contact, you may return to work or school. You must continue to self-monitor for 14 days, as the incubation period for the virus is 14 days. For household contacts of, personal, of positive cases, you will quarantine for the 10-day isolation of the positive case. After the positive case has recovered, your 10-day quarantine will begin. You will have a minimum quarantine period of 20 days. If you remain symptom-free, you may go back to work or school on day 11. You must continue to self-monitor for 14 days as the incubation period for the virus is 14 days. And finally, the current Stafford County COVID-19 count displaced daily on the TV3 bulletin board. Here now are more of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate their support of our local news. And now for some public service announcements. Gladys Dudry Hornbaker, 87, passed away December the 5th at Kenwood Plaza. A private burial service will take place at the Peace Creek Cemetery and a memorial service will be held at a later date. Stafford Corps needs supplies for 23 adults and 25 children. Check the TV3 bulletin board for a detailed list of the items that are needed. The Ida Long Goodman Memorial Library is now closed to the public. No date has been given as to when it will reopen, but digital access, curbside, and porch pickup are available. Call 620-549-3227 for these services. This year's flu vaccine is now available at Stafford County Drug for ages 6 to 64. No appointment is needed, and the vaccine is free with most insurance plans. Store hours are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you have questions, call 620-377-5633. Schick Counseling at the Sunflower Senior Center will be Tuesday, November the 17th. It will be by appointment only starting at 10 a.m. Call 620-549-3403 to make an appointment. It is a free program offered to Kansas as an opportunity to talk with trained community volunteers to get answers to questions about Medicare and other insurance issues. Two bits, four bits, six bits a dollar, all for St. John. Log in and holler. Since the early 1900s, St. John and Stafford have been rivals, both on and off the court. Sporting events sometimes ended with shouting matches or fistfights as fans burned off their excess adrenaline. Now, in 2020, due to COVID-19, the once-filled bleachers are empty and will stay that way until after January of 2021.
What used to be standing room only is now room only. For most of the season, the players will be competing before an invisible audience, and the cheerleaders will be firing up an imaginary crowd. So, until the bleachers are filled again, a streaming service provided by the NFHS network will have to do. A special dual camera mounted on the north wall of the gym will track the action, and fans will be able to use the links posted on the school Facebook page to watch the games. Meyer with the steal, drives in, no good. Smith with the rebound, in for two. Tigers up by 10. Two and a half left in the third. A little shout out to our booster club sponsors, Ag 360 Insurance, American State Bank, Brummer Ag, Kara Long Pottery and Chrisman Farms. Thank you for sponsoring our school activities. This night, the smell of popcorn and the roar of the crowd was noticeably absent. As we settled in to the new normal, we long for the old normal. Maybe next year. Please help our channel better serve you with quality and informative programming. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area, and it is our goal to bring these activities to those who cannot attend. Many days there are no events to cover, but there are days that have two or three events to cover at the same time, and we cannot get to all of them. If you would like to help, please contact us. We will even supply the camcorder and show you how to use the video editing computer. Also, if you have items that need to be announced on TV3, or you have an event that would benefit from video coverage, we would like to hear from you. Please contact us by emailing ssctv3 at gmail.com or by calling 620-253-0037. Give us a little notice and we will be there. Also, do not forget that the TV3 bulletin board is available for classified advertising. Your ad will run 24-7 on the local cable system as well as the SSC TV3 YouTube channel. As GBT transitions to Stream It TV, which is a digital format, the analog cable TV service that is in our operation now will come to an end. Therefore, we will have to make a very expensive change. The studio will be shut down for a time as it undergoes the retrofit. There will be more information about this in the future. Join us again next Thursday at 11 a.m. for another edition of the TV3 News. Keep us informed and we will keep you informed. Thank you for watching. God bless and help the USA.